Okay, uh, we're in the German section here now at drivetanks.com. We're going to be talking a little bit about uh, a uh, unique vehicle from World War II that helped the uh, German infantry uh, keep up with the Panzer Division, the tank divisions. Uh, it was uh, really one of the first fighting vehicles because uh, initially it was just designed to keep them up with the tanks, but they it's so well armored that they, instead of getting out and fighting, they started uh, developing the habit of fighting from the vehicle, which is kind of uh, the first time that we've really seen that in, a, in main battles in warfare. So it was a very unique vehicle in that respect, and that vehicle is the KFZ-251, which is right behind me. Um, the vehicle is uh, basically a armored vehicle that's a half-track. It was much better armored than uh, our half-tracks of World War II. Uh, it would stop an 8 millimeter uh, round very effectively. Uh, you can see that there was nothing uh, complicated about it, just slits and uh, drive holes for the, your viewing. There's no periscopes that they use like in the, in the tanks. But the uh, vehicle has two front road wheels and a track system. One of the things that's unique about this is it does have mounts for machine guns. Uh, you can see the main machine gun mount on the top center that's protected with an armor plate. That um, main gun on that was used was the MG-34. The reason MG-34s were used is because early in the war, uh, the, the MG-34s were used in the infantry. They were very heavy. Everything were steel machined, uh, and they were uh, quickly replaced with the MG42, which is the stamped version of that, uh, much easier to carry, much easier to manufacture. So they moved all the MG34s to the mostly vehicle operations because of the heavy weight, and they would put them in the vehicles. And that's what is mounted on this vehicle right now is the MG34. If we move around to the side of the vehicle, we get to see the sloped side armor, which was a uh, um, helped with the uh, deflection of rounds. Also, the very traditional and um, basically iconic German track pattern. You see that with the Tiger tanks. It's a very common use uh, of what the Germans used, the overlapping road wheel track pattern. It had uh, some advantages, but mostly uh, it was overcomplicated and had more disadvantages than advantages. The biggest disadvantage of the road wheels was the fact that if you had a bad road wheel in the center, we would have to remove all the outer road wheels to get to that road wheel for the repair. The other thing you'll note is there's very tight proximity between the road wheels, which was not conducive to winter fighting operations in Russia. So when the rain and the sleet came in the wintertime, these would freeze up, and they would actually have to take torches and blowtorch these to get the wheels free so they could move the vehicles. And that was not just indicative of the 251. It was also a problem for the Tiger tanks and the, and the tank uh, of, the, uh, of the Panzers. So this was it showed to be a very weak... Uh, design for cold weather operations. So moving up back to the rear, we have the entrance, entrance and egress doors here. They're also armored. We will uh, look inside. General uh, crew compartment was designed for about 10 troops. Most of the time you saw about 50 piled in here. Um, in pictures, and a lot of times they wouldn't use the doors. They would actually just hop up and slide down the sides to get out. It was a much faster egress for them. Um, but again, there was many times they actually popped up and fought from inside the vehicle because the armor protection. Also, the machine gun mount up front afforded them uh, a lot more firepower. The back uh, machine gun mount here is same kind of mount, MG34 and it would have been uh, used for uh, uh, a lot of times the rear, and it was angled to where you could actually shoot uh, for aircraft protection from above. If you notice, there's no top armor protection, so you were vulnerable from 
uh, air attacks. So what we'll do now is go in and look at the driving compartment and see how to drive this vehicle.